Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Saturday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, today's video is going to be a little different. It, i got to put a few disclaimers out in front of this. All right, the first disclaimer, I'm going to say the word penis more than once in this video. So just so let's get that out there. Let's get Let's get that out in front. I'm probably going to make some bad penis jokes too. All right, second disclaimer. Uh, I am not a medical doctor and I am not here to give any type of medical advice. If you have any type of medical medical issues or questions, do not listen to people like me. Go to your doctor. Uh, the stuff I'm talking about, the stuff I'm going to say today are just my personal experiences that I'm, I'm here to share with you guys. Okay, that being said... So I'm looking at stories this morning, and one of the first ones, I, I check TMZ sometimes. You know, it's hard to tell what you guys want to watch. Uh, you know, besides for the gratuitous Nick Fuentes videos, uh, I hate doing that to people who don't know, some of my viewers who don't even know who Nick Fuentes is. I hate beating you guys over the head with those videos, but it, they get a lot of views from Nick Fuentes fans. You know, and I, you know, I, I, I don't want to get into the routine of doing all, all, new, all Nick Fuentes trolling all the time. I don't want to get into the habit of doing that. So I go to TMZ, and I came across an interesting story. All right, this is only a couple hours old. This, this story is hot off the press, as usual. All right, it's about 50 cent. Got to say it right, 50. 50 cent. Even though I say, yeah, coming out of a 56-year-old man's mouth, that sounds really kind of, I feel stupid saying that. But then again, saying 50 cent sounds stupid too, so damned if I do, damned if I don't. Anyway, here's an interesting little tidbit too. When 50, 50 cent first came out, I was still using, okay? And I went to, uh, uh, I would go to dealers. I'd go to uh, trap houses, a trap house, I guess, if you guys know what that is. And that, this is back in the 90s. And I, the, the, the dealers in this area, were a hundred percent sure that Fifty Cent had just came out and that he was known in this area. I, more than likely, I probably purchased some of my wares from Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent, seriously. Uh, and th this is other people that were in that business th that were a hundred percent sure of this in the the cities here in Connecticut that he would make trips up here to Connecticut. I don't know if that's true or not, but I got told that repeatedly back when I was using. Just a little tidbit. That's not what this video is about. All right. 50 Cent is suing. I don't think this woman is a medical doctor. Okay. There's a few things. I, I could have gone into research into a lot of areas here. I'm going to let you guys do that. There's going to be links down below. I don't think she's a medical doctor. He's suing Med Spa of Florida. Okay. There's a picture of him with a woman i do not think i think she's a medical clinician right she's she works in the area of penis enlargement okay and this this so does this company med spa now 50 cent 50 cent claims that uh he just thought she was a fan you know these guys must take hundreds thousands of uh pictures with fans all day i imagine you know i thought about this you know if i knew somebody if, if my job if my industry involved machismo like you know being a rapper you know i i, I probably wouldn't want to pose with somebody that was involved in penis enlargement it wouldn't you know the the, the optics wouldn't look good but you know he probably doesn't know the thing is his med spa all on the picture behind him and this is a penis enlargement company so you gotta wonder you know was he not aware of this so he poses with this clinician this clinician turns around and uses this picture repeatedly in saying and, and she she comes like this close. She insinuates that he is a uh, patient, you know, and she cut. I was reading. I'll have the links down below. And plus, I'll probably use one for my thumbnail. I mean, she comes this close to saying that he's actually a patient, but she doesn't actually say it. So he's understandably upset. Because, uh, you know, he, so he's suing this company saying that he didn't, you know, he most definitely did not have a penis enlargement, right? So here's where it gets interesting. So I started doing some research and it turns out there's a, a whole, a slew of other penis stories involving 50 Cent just in the last couple of years. All right. The first one. Now, it almost makes me think what comes around goes around, you know, kind of thing, you know, that he, he's catching flack on this for getting a penis enlargement. Turn this is this is this is bizarre bizarre turn events. It makes me believe in karma. 
turns out back, I think it was 2019, the link will be down below. There was a uh, diamond trader that dealt in, supposedly dealt in blood diamonds from South Africa. And he, uh, he passed away on the table while getting one of these penis enlargements. He, I, I believe he was getting the uh, uh, injection for uh, anesthesia in that area. And like this kind of, you know, imagine getting a, an injection in the penis. Uh, I could imagine that might cause a heart attack. And he, he passed away. Okay, this is where, now it turns out, 50 Cent was upset about the whole blood diamond thing. And he uh, tweets or he Instagrams the uh, widow of this guy. And he, he was just uh, merciless. He, he's, he said that this guy deserved it. And then he offered his services to the widow. That's harsh. That's that's brutal. So you know, I, when I read that, I was like, "Well, oh, man, what comes around goes around." You know, you you busted this. You know, you you were merciless. I just did a video recently, and I believe strongly in this. Once somebody passes away, regardless of how much I dislike them, that's when my trolling my my hate my my disrespect stops once somebody leaves this earth i i stop saying bad things about them they're no longer a issue with me you know plus you know there's the just it, it just it, it doesn't look good you know talking smack about somebody who's not here to defend themselves so anyway then there's another story uh this one is back from 2016 i think and he was in a uh a uh, series uh, called Power. I don't know if it was on Netflix or Instagram. Uh, Netflix, it might have been on Netflix. The link will be down below. Okay, so he he played a character. In, I don't know if it was a cop or somebody, but he was he was in a scene in this show called Power, and the the person I guess masturbates in the scene, and Fifty Cent claims that he thought there was going to be a stand in double because apparently his penis is visible in the video and he's all upset about this you know i i was you know my grandmother can't watch this episode because my my penis is making a debut in this in this scene you know, so he he appears to be all upset about it but then you know it's one of those cases where me thinks thou dost protest too much you know it gets to the point where he's it almost looks like he's trying to drum up some publicity for the show and for his uh his member you know, so the links for this will be down below. Okay, so then I started doing, now like I said, this is the part about not me not being a doctor. Uh, I, start, I was curious, so I started looking about, you know, from what, I've, from what I understand, penis enlargement is a risky proposition with uh, questionable results. And I still agree with that. This is not something, they, they, there, there'll be links down below. There's a couple of instances. There's actually something called a micro penis. So, so, you know, bam, Donald Trump comes to mind. And there's another one, P, uh, PDD, penile dysmorphia. Uh, I forgot what the last D was. P, penile dysmorphia, not syndrome. Something begins with a D. Where the person actually thinks that his member is smaller than it is and he and on top of that he actually believes that everybody else's penis all the other men's penises are bigger than they actually are it's called pdd seriously <laughs> so in cases like this uh the person might need some uh you know they or they might seek out enlargement techniques now i started looking into these enlargement techniques and i'm not going to get too graphic here but good god i would not want to go under undergo any of these one of the main ones, if you're, if you're queasy, you might want to speed the video up right here, involves cutting the ligament. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, the ligament that attaches to the pubic bone and goes down the top of the penis. And, and cutting that. And all that does is let it flop down more. It doesn't actually enlarge it. It makes it look bigger, flaccid. Wow, you, you got to have some serious issues if you're going down that road. Then there's other, other ones where they inject fat from one part of your body to another part of your body, which obviously wouldn't affect the length, but it would infect, uh, infect that's a possibility, the girth. Uh, there's ones that involve, I believe, that involve some kind of uh, pneumatic pump. Um, honestly, to me, 
each one is scarier than the last. Um, and they're all questionable. Here's, here's one that does work. Here's, here's today's tip for the day. Seriously, what works is exercise. By reducing the amount of fat as you get older, as men get older, you reduce it, you get more more stomach fat, beer guts. There's some, I, I always wonder how men could go through life not being able to see their penis anymore. To me, that's got to be one of the most depressing things. I, I, don't, I don't understand how any man could, could live with that. You know, having a beer gut so big that he can't see his, his parts anymore. But by exercising along with testosterone, the thing that amazes me too, guys like Tucker Carlson, always talking about things to ways to increase your testosterone, become more manly, like red, red ball tanning. You know, exercise, exercise, do it. You know, sometimes you just got to do the work. And, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the ways. And exercising increases your testosterone and slims down your stomach so that when your stomach is smaller and flatter, your your member does look bigger, and I, I could testify to that. It's, it's the truth. I, 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 I'm saying that in all sincerity because I had gone up to 277 pounds. I mean, I, I never looked, sm I don't want to brag here, but it, yeah, it, it actually does work. The, the thinner, the more lean muscle mass you have, the better you look naked. That's the truth. Okay, I'm going to talk about, oh, I was going to talk about, I see them running long. I want to talk about Viagra. Yes, I've tried it, and uh, I've got some interesting things to say about Viagra. Seeing as I'm running along, I'm almost at 12 minutes, I'm going to have to do that in the next video. You guys, stay tuned. It's, it's going to get even better. All right, have a good Saturday.